Kumbang ngilio ihe kine ki benai ki balalait no Leng ba ki kot kubor ki internet Bat ki wede ki lat pathai kubor Ba ka don ka jingya diskof siya pangkata ka Abrahamik akot Haka ba upok u imam jong ki muslim bat u rabi jong ki jiw Kila persiang ban wanra ya ka jinglong ka wei Ha pereng kine ki laita li ki niam Dan na pereng ki brew ki bamju pule kot kubor Nepet ya ki international news haki TV jongki ki ong bakine ki day tang ki kubor ham saya. Nere kane kam day setia ka kubor ham saya. Kane kade ka kubor basisa. Bat hang day pila ban yoi bawat haka pertai jongki muslim ru. Kila ya keren ya tai sepang kane ka benta. Bat haka heading jongki kubor muslim la thok kumne. Hato on me kanyang batamay na kinyang Jew Christian bat Muslim. Manta pila bat snap ya ka ay ka ba u Dr. Shabir u scholar jong kin Muslim u don bat ang halor ka ni. Dr. Shabir, welcome to Let the Quran Speak. My pleasure to be on. I've been hearing these terms Abrahamia and Abrahamic religion without the S very commonly in the Middle East and India. And Dr. Shabir, it seems like that term arose after the UAE um, made ties with Israel, it normalized ties with Israel. And, uh, and, that, and that sort of relationship or that sort of normalization was called the Abrahamic Accord. Um, and as a result, the UAE is building a center which will house a church, a synagogue and a mosque. So as a result, all this discussion is about um, are these religions going to be unified in some way? Is Islam, Christianity and Judaism going to be unified? And um, the Imam of Al-Azhar has issued a statement condemning that, that whole idea. So, Dr. Shabir, I wanted to get your sense on, you know, can these religions be unified? Are they going to be unified? How, how would that actually work? UAE, Israel, Bat ya kane ka jingya ta'lok jengki la tip kum ka Abrahamik akot. Ka jingkali ka bamik na ka liang ki muslim menta ka long. Hato on lak na emban penyak teli ya kine kiniang. Bat hato lak na emban penlong ka wei ya kine kilai teli kiniang. Kata ka niang muslim, ka niang jiw, bat ka niang kristal. Kajubab na u Dr. Shabir, uwey na kinong hikay teology, bat u skola jong kanyang muslim, kalong bakipad ba kila niya ikinong yalam niyang baro, kamtam e ikinong yalam niyang, kibalong kim mensim, kibalong jendong kichingmut ching perkhat jong ki, bat kiriw pad ba, leksay kila ban perkhat, bangila bandan kajingya day jingmut no, Namang bangingat hawai ublay. Ngiday kibriw kibabha. Henry, haka jing perkhat. U doktor siya birpat kalong. Ba uong bakam lak setia ban long ban penye teli ya kine kilay teli kiniam. Wat ada kanday ka idea ka babha e. Ban wanra ya ki jing bha bat ki jing ya syongso. Yeah, so let, let's look more globally at the fact that we have a world full of religions. Uh, religions are often in uh, conflict with each other, or, or rather we should say that people of religions are in conflict with each other, sometimes over uh, mosques and, and synagogue and church. And, you know, was this a, a Hindu temple at, for, uh, you know, at first, mm -hmm. or was it a, a mosque in the first place? Was it a church or should it be a mosque and so on? Even so within people, religions, there's, a, there's, there's all this, yes. you know, infighting. So, in, uh, you know, seeing all of this, uh, you know, the masses out there are just fed up with uh, religious leaders who are so um, dogmatic and um, exclusivist. And, and uh, people on, on the ground are thinking, wait a minute, we all believe in God. We're all good people. Why can't we just get along? <laughs> and, uh, you know, if, if it means like, let's have one global religion for all people. Um, wouldn't that be a nice thing? Uh, the, the difficulty with that, however, is that, uh, you know, while we agree with all of these sentiments that let's all get along and, and so on, to have a global religion today 
uh, that will be as inspiring to people as uh, the, uh, the world's religions are uh, to their individual followers uh, w- would be very hard to come by in practice. Because you see, if we think about the religion of Islam as an example, uh, this goes back to the preaching of our Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And uh, Muslims today might be asked, well, why do you even follow this religion? And the Muslim will say, well, you know what, because that's the man, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, didn't make it up himself. Mm -hmm. He got it as a revelation from the Almighty God. If he made it up himself, yeah, why should we follow him? Uh, So, But the same question will come back to us today if we decide to make up a religion today, no matter how we gather the components, whether they are components from existing religions or we make up new ones. Mm -hmm. Uh, The the fact that we are making it up today would would deprive it of all authority because Mm -hmm. it will will go back to a human authority to us Mm -hmm. rather than to a revelation from the Almighty God. Mm -hmm. So short of God, uh, you know, reaching into the world with a divine revelation that says, you know what, you guys should all have this new one unified world religion, uh, it it seems hard to conceive of uh, this really taking effect and and bringing people together uh, inspired by this new faith. It Mm -hmm. could be a new ideology that could be inspiring to people, but some will accept it, some will reject it. Some will say, why do we have to follow your ideology? Mm-hmm. Okay. So we know, we know that all the, the, the Judaism, mm-hmm. Christianity, and Islam, well, according to Muslims, they have the same God, right? So it would seem that, that there is a sort of fit there, you know, yes. if you wanted to... Ki jing slay um, ki jing plo hi ki klao, ki jing ptay jong ki bolkeno bat ki wede. Bat wat hakarukam sen shal kadaru, ki dak ki shen ki ras dang ban pao, leng ba ki jing pen bor ban ai vaksin, ban pen i ye ki certificate balak dep le ye kan vaksin. Ki ne baro ki dey tang ki jing sedang, jong ki dak ba kabakut. Kalajan.